MF is a new lightweight paraglider fabric developed by MJ Tech. It was born out of belief that existing lightweight fabric available to paragliding manufacturers could be improved. This company, Myeongjin, is since quite a long time we have been working. Now already the second generation uh, owner is running, but the first, his father was a very expert for the parachute uh, materials and then developed a lot of uh, parachute materials. They have uh, know-how about uh, this kind of fabric very well, and they've got uh, tech knowledge and they've got, uh, um, also they have a strong passion to develop the paraglider fabric. So we, we like to work with them. When making a new paraglider fabric, there are several factors to consider, such as base material and then weaves, coating, formulation, and application method. The prototype fabric must then be tested and any adjustments to process made. Daniel is, Daniel is actually thickness of the yarn. So basically 9,000 meter of one Dania equals one gram. So 9,000 meter of five Dania equals five gram. That's the simple equation for this. If we want to lower the weight of the fabric, we have to use the lower Dania. But using the lower Dania comes up with a lower strength. So we have to decide really carefully to make the balance lower the weight and we have to keep the strength really good. So in this case, we decide to use 15 denia because we want to lower the weight and keep the strength good enough. I can tell you briefly about the manufacturing process of MJ29MF. Basically, we weave the yarn in the air jet loom and in the air jet loom, we produce about 140 yards per day. So if we get the enough quantity of the ingrate, then it moves to the dyeing facility. It takes about two days to get the right colors. And then the fabric moves to the calendaring process. Calendaring is using the high pressure to make the fabric into flat. If we have to make the flat fabric, then we can have easier to coating. Last coating, using by the PU chemical to make the good quality of paraglide. Crispy hand filling makes the pilot think that they have a new fresh fabric all the time. But the hand filling, crispy hand filling come out from the polyurethane coating is from the chemical. So if you get the crispy hand filling, it's not durable. It's easier to have a cracking. So for example, if you get the paper like this, and if you rub it, then the paper comes very soft. If you want the durability, the crispy hand filling is not that important. If you want the durability is good, then you have to go with the soft hand filling. The width of the fabric start from the 71 inches and then after the coating it comes out 64. So how we do is we let them shrink so we won't let the fabric shrink after the coating because if the fabric shrink after the coating it may affect in the coating layer. After that I personally check the durability of the air porosity which is I rub the fabric and then check with the JDC or Hello Process. We also do the flag test in the roof of our factory. We make a flag of the fabric and then we let them stay in there for a month, even if it's raining, sunny, windy, doesn't matter. So after a month, we check the air porosity and tear strength and compare it to the initial volume. Initial volume of the air porosity shows good value but durability was not good. So we tried a quattro coating system to make the better durability. Quattro coating in MJ29 is basically, we do the four times coating because 
most of the companies are using double coating. They don't do that four times. So we make a very thin four layer of coating to make the very good, durable, and better quality of the fabric. Using a double ripstop shows good strength and easy to have a flat coating layer. But however, to make the lightweight fabric, we use 10D or 15D. But using that low denia gives the very bad tear strength. That's why we're using the triple ripstop. 10D or 15D with a double ripstop tear strength will rip it up like a paper. Smaller ripstop shows higher weight and better tear strength. Wide ripstop shows lower weight with a low strength. But we're stick with a smaller ripstop because the weight difference is about is one or two gram. So we rather use the small ripstop to get the higher tear strength. We, we want to make it more durable, but still keep the lightweight. This is uh, quite a uh, challenge, you know, because uh, as you see the rip, uh, the structure is, is, uh, is quite narrow, which is, gives uh, the more durable rip stop, but uh, still keep the lightweight. So they are amazing how, how this, uh, MJ Tech could uh, achieve the, this goal. So, as a as a partner, we we are really happy to test the fabric with them.